Hello, my name's Nathan and I'm saying goodbye to Friso, which was a fan-made um, version of The Sims Online that was created. Uh, probably, it was so many years ago it was created. Uh, it's, let's go to my house. When I was a kid, I played The Sims 1, and so um, understandably I was very excited when The Sims Online was coming out, you know, I was using the internet, I was on forums, I guess, at that time, and, um, and I don't know what year this came out, probably like early, early 2000s, um, I was really excited for it, but um, I was too young for it, really. Um, I remember going on there and I would talk to other Sims and they'd be like, how old are you? And I'm like, I don't know how old I was. And they'd be like, oh, you're too young for here. I'm like, okay. But anyway, I only had it for a month, I think, because it was on a subscription service. Uh, even back then, this, yeah. And, it, you know, I didn't have any money because I was a kid, kid really. <coughs> Uh, so, but I did really like it. I was able to, I remember being really excited because I earned some money on there and I made a little detective's office for myself, which had like a little leather chair and I was super excited. I was sad when it had to end, but that's okay. I just went back to The Sims and then I think The Sims 2 was already out or I can't remember if maybe Sims 2 came out after that and that was really exciting. Anyway, um... I suppose it was probably before The Sims 2 came out. Um, anyway, so then I remember EA Games tried to do a desperate attempt to try and save the it by calling it uh, EA Land, which was a very strange name for it. I And they uh, made it free, I think, another free month, I think. So I came back many years later and, and uh, played another month or a bit less and and then uh, it disappeared years and years and years and years and years later I discover fans have made their own version which is exactly the same as the original um, I don't know if there's anything missing but even even has the music has all the same skins and I did exactly what I did when I was a kid which I made a character called Munch with the same head even started with the same clothes as well Anyway, so I, this is, I don't know, I guess 10 years ago, um, I s returned and I was feeling quite down at that time and I managed to get money, enough money on here by doing some of the games. I'm not very good at the games and also the games require a lot of like socializing and stuff and I didn't want to really make any friends really. <laughs> <coughs> But uh, I ended up, I think, making some friends because I think a lot of the money I got was actually just given to me, like from nice people who just liked that I was wanting to make my own house. And they were like, yeah, have a bunch of money. And I wasn't being ambitious. Uh, pretty much 90% of the houses people build on this game, they have to take up the full map, you know. I just wanted to build a tiny little... <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that music. Tiny little country cottage. Because that's what I felt like would make me feel good. Um, whoa, can you hear that music? It's really loud. Hold on. I might have a stereo on. Or... So what I wanted to do is I wanted to actually show you my house. Uh, that I made and that I would come to whenever I felt a little stressed. It's basically like a relaxation place. I'll just sell this painting, get a bit of money. And you're probably wondering, one, what that music is and how to get rid of it. Uh, you also might be wondering why I'm saying goodbye. Well, I did see that um, the free is closing in this year. So welcome to Munch's Welcome Cottage. I called it a Welcome Cottage. I was sort of using it as a um, uh, a welcoming 
a house that people could enter when they first got into the game and then I could just show them the ropes a little bit just say hey you got to earn money and all this stuff anyway so there's that leather chair I was talking about I, I brought it back and made a little cozy space for myself in here but primarily what I used to use this for apart from building my little dream little cottage here um, was coming to relax uh, after a stressful day and all I would do is I would make preserves which is making uh, jam um, I would just get much to make some jam actually before we do that I'm just going to change his clothes see if I've got a wardrobe upstairs maybe here we go change clothes so this uh, game is closing down in December uh, as I say it's run a while it's been on a while but it is sad to say it's closing down because I have used this space as a kind of real space as a kind of every now and then I'll come back you know every few months I'll log on and I'll just come and see my little space he doesn't even seem to be able to change his clothes what's going on man hold on I mean, it might be in the wrong section ah, I am uh, no thanks I want to wear this one please there you go ah. I come in here and um, type either type up a story or uh, my sim would uh, play the piano uh, and of course uh, make jam on the preserves I would be doing that m most often um, and uh, have my little windmill there you know this is my humble little little space and then um, it's, it's quite dark unless I'm in the rooms but you've got my little you've got my little clock there um, little bathroom and I actually have a dog as well we get him out as well because we we'll have to say goodbye to him um, now if we go a little bit exploring we we have a lot of trees I wanted to make it very foresty um, and uh, I even have a portal I'm not really sure why so this is a sort of fun room you can blow bubbles in here have a drink put the fireplace on put some music on if you want I never really had any friends so this room was not really used I think I came in in here for a lonely drink uh, and of course uh, the game kind of went quiet um, there's not really any people on it there hasn't been many people on it in the last few years anyway so, so I've got my uh, nice stone wall here and then over here a little pond can't use the pond not like in uh, I think Sims Hot Date I even have a village picture uh, on the projector which you can change to anything but I always had it like that to fit the uh, the mood you know there's another windmill over there that's spin spinning away um, yeah so what's uh, Munch up to now is he finished writing a story oh he's still writing away even got a cuckoo clock I got a hat stand you can wear so many different types of hats a diving helmet um, I've got ice cream down there I think that costs money though alright I finished my story let's sell it I'll show you some of my piano skills the other thing I used to do oh yeah money won't mean anything soon enough because the game is going to be cancelled um, the other thing I used to do while what I do is when I was sort of stressed or um, I needed I don't know something to keep to give me rest I would come on here get him baking or well not baking I'm uh, making um, preserves um, and I would actually uh, stick the classical music on the laptop and the classical music would just play while he was making his reserve preserves and and that would be and that would kind of relax me it says here there you go I joined on the 3rd of the 4th 2017 which is 2,777 days obviously I haven't been on the game for that many days but that goes to show where when the game came back as it, these lifts I remember getting really excited about these lifts when they appeared in I think they appeared in um, one of the expansion packs in Sims 1 
mostly everything is from The Sims 1. But there are some stuff that uh, I think is special to uh, Sims Online. Should we get the dog out? You know, I was always worried because this game, I think it had some kind of glitches and stuff. And I, it took a long time to get a dog. I just, I really wanted a dog in my house. But, um, and I think he changes breed every now and then, like if you leave him too long. Or, and they can run away if you don't feed them or if you don't, um, I don't know, let them out enough. So I was always paranoid. I actually just left him in his box for a lot of the time. But, let's put some food in here. Since the game is ending, we'll get the dog out, I reckon. 15 bucks! He can stay in his cage. There we go. Nice. Maybe we can give him a bath. Alright, come out, Peter. Oh, there you go. He needed to choose his own breed before he came out. He's so cute. He's so cute. I remember being really excited about the pets in The Sims 1 when it first came out. He's, he's hard to spot there. Here he is. Oh, look at him. Oh, should we give him a bath? I think so. He's been in that box for a long time. He probably needs a bit of a wash. Oh, he didn't like that. Sorry. Our relationship's probably a little bit strained. I got some food for you though. He's got a nice bed here. I'm not really in in game long enough for him to actually go to sleep, but come on, get in. Good boy. There you go. Nice bath. I love all the all the design for The Sims Online. It's I don't know, it feels very retro or something. I love all the blue shades. and I'll show you something I really used to really like when I was a kid. This reminded me of The Matrix. Check this out. For some reason, this was a big player on, the, on why I like this game. This one thing. <laughs> I do have the flamingos in honor of George, my George character from the Grand Theft Auto videos. Oh, look at him go, ready? <laughs> Disappears. He just went green. And there's the music. Alright, so Munch is just making some jam and he will be, whoa, where's he going? He will be doing that for some time. And this is my favorite thing. I think it was the animation itself. You can see every time he finishes the jar, it adds up. And once you get to six, then you're uh, in the money. Yeah. So how does one say goodbye to a video game house? I mean, I've actually, every time I visited it, I've actually felt lucky that it's still there because it is a fan-made game and they, they have a lot of issues sometimes. I know people get upset with them. They've always had problems with the like economy, I think, like even in the original game. And I think people were just not playing as much anymore because of the nostalgia factor. People were maybe growing out of it or... I don't know. I'm not really sure. I love these bucket barrel chairs. They're cool. They suit my house. Yeah, it's really a humble little home um you can play chess down there it is raining at the moment which is just extra cozy if you ask me once we finish our uh, apple jam we'll head down to here there he is there's a the thing about i know they, they actually made a 3d version of this game um but i never accessed it i never that dog is so hard to see um, yeah, look, I, cl I turned it off. Let's put the fire on. Yes, because it's raining. It's a little cold out there. Um, yeah, they, they had a 3D version where every item was 3D and you could spin the camera around and you can find uh, examples of that online. <clears throat> but I was never really interested. Let's have, a, let's have a drink. 
I was more interested in that OG Sims aesthetic. Oh, hi. Oh, you want to play or something? You want my attention? I'm just about to have some cocoa, so you just gotta wait. I'm drinking all the drinks. This is the drink room. Oh. <laughs> well, Peter, I guess this is goodbye. This may be the last time I see you. And see everything in here, all the walls will disappear. Everything will just go offline forever. Yes. Oh, here we go. Oh, Santa Claus. <laughs> time of year could suit. There's like a sort of samurai mailman uh, and something quite interesting. Um, astronaut. Yeah, I think for you watching this video, that these will be really small. Um, prisoner. I mean, they're all kind of cool. There's nurse outfits. There's a pirate. I mean, the astronaut's looking good to me. Oh, you can dress as a, just as a skeleton. That's really creepy. Let's do the old astronauts. The old classic astronaut. Yes. All right. Now we'll go to uh, the... We'll go to the hat stand and we'll get uh, the diving helmet. I know that doesn't entirely fit the astronaut, but that's what I'm feeling. I remember when the game started, people would sort of have costume parties and stuff. Yay! That's the perfect way to make some more apple jam. So, um, I suppose... Uh, this goodbye wouldn't be complete without actually seeing the building. I can't even remember what it looks like from, you know. There you go. That's not too bad. It's got that sort of English feel, English cottage feel, and there you go. That that's nice. See, it's not a bad design, really, is it? It's very very humble, very small. And then you've got this one here is interesting because I remember I just covered the whole thing in like leaves you know it, the whole thing's meant to be completely hidden and I think that's cool as design there's some windows there some lovely trees I can look out to space if I felt uh, so obliged um, and I love these wheels you can just see one hiding here um, and then what else you've got so there's another windmill um, and there's a, there's, a, there's a duck, a rubber ducky thing. The other thing we had, which is really cool in this game, is um, tip jars. And so people would, would visit your house, and if they liked your house and they liked you, this is how I got, I got a lot of my money to actually build the house, was tip jars. Okay, I think he's finished now. Whoop, I need to bring the walls down. All right. He's finished. We'll remove the hat. We'll get a we'll get a cowboy hat. Was there a costume box in this part of the house? I don't think so. There was. I think they're all outside. That's okay. All right. You take that off. This is cool, isn't it? I remember as a kid, I was really into King Arthur and stuff. So this fitted nicely with the cottage feel. Let's get back in our normal clothes but we'll have a nice cowboy hat. Still raining out. I uh, hope Peter's not getting too wet. Where is he? What are you doing? He's just always in the dark somewhere. I can't find you if you're in the dark. Let's, uh, let's just turn this light on, see if that helps. He must be in this room, right? He's somewhere in this corner in the dark. I don't know. Oh, there's the, tra the traditional 
uh, oh, Sag Clown from The Sims 1 who would appear when uh, your Sims was sad this miserable clown would appear and just cry and cry and cry and I believe he's if he may have been in all the Sims games since where's the dog he's he's apparently there but I can't see him there he is he's just in the other room we'll just give him a praise uh, make sure he's had his food good boy I like this picture as well because it reminded me of my favorite band which is Blur they their best of album has a, a similar uh, front cover <laughs> let's see if I've actually put notes on here at some point to try and remind me oh look at this go to Tasmania work on a project that fulfills me greatly Wow that's old but very interesting Oh, he's going to do it. He's doing it. Oh, that's lucky I didn't salvage it then, isn't it? All right, let's make some dinner. I don't even remember. No, do I have a fridge? I must have a fridge. I may have just, like, just deleted stuff. Who knows? There's a fridge. It's so dark. So dark. Oh, it's breakfast time. I didn't even sleep. All right. Let's have some breakfast. Come on, lights. There we go. Don't really like that starlight, but that's okay. That was the thing. I wanted to make it cute and small, but it comes with a bit of a cost, and that's that I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, I can't even... Oh. oh, let's open it. I think um, a staff member might appear. I can't really remember. Oh, yeah, he's got to use the toilet first. Peter's out here. a good sniff and possibly going to the toilet yeah I think so it looks very toilety <laughs> yep oh there you go oh look at that there's actually a bit of poop there good job Peter okay let's see if I can pick that up clean up oh that's brilliant I'm just glad you're enjoying yourself you know out in the grass Okay. Let's have some of that ice cream. Oh, there he is, look. Oh my gosh. I feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> There's a random ice cream man just at my house. I suppose, you know, when I was a sort of welcome cottage, people could sort of come along and and uh, get some ice cream while they were saying hello. But um, there he is. I was excited when little shops and stuff started appearing in The Sims 1. That was really cool. I remember someone one of the, someone uploaded like a modded McDonald's stand at one point back in the day. Yes, ice cream please. Uh, I'll choose um, yeah, that one please. I think he chose the, is it the mint cookies and cream. Oh. That's not mint cookies and cream. I think you got the wrong one, Munch. That's okay. I guess this guy's going to have a short shift. He had another tip jar there. Again, none of this was really ever used. <laughs> because I suppose I never had enough people. Because I'm not a party venue. Um, it's not a skill venue. This is There's a lot of skilling in this game. We... I could show you that actually before I go if there's anyone online skilling. Um, this is my nice little garden and there are bushes with snow on them. <laughs> Maybe I can make a video where it's just him making jam with the music playing for ages and ages and ages and ages. <laughs> Alright. Alright, 
much. This is going to be the last one you're going to sell before the whole game closes down. 46 bucks. You're behind a tree, I knew it. Oh, I have to catch him first. There he is. I love this. How cool is that? People don't have that anymore, do they? The beads on the on the doors. Okay. It's time to get back in your carrier, little doggy. It's just the way it has to be, and and unfortunately, you're gonna be in there forever. There he goes. Good night. Night, little doggy. They always have an angry angry eyes. Ah, okay, Peter, you can go back over here. Wrong way. Not that it's going to matter, because the game is ending. There we go. There he goes. All right, then. One last thing I'll do is I'll show you the uh, skill lots, if there is one open. We've done everything we can on Munch's Welcome Cottage. We've said goodbye. Closed up shop. We'll kick one of these flamingos in honor of George. If you don't know, George is a old man character on GTA I used to play. Kick, kick him again. Kick him, kick him again. And he loves flamingos. Um, you can look him up at George Bother's GTA roleplay. Keep kicking. Do they not fall over? Or do they just make that silly noise? I'll do it one more time. Oh, look at these poor plants. You can go and water all the plants. Don't really see the point if the game's finishing, but but they do look nice when they're uh, watered. So we'll just we'll just do that first. Look at that. It's so nice. He's probably going to do the whole garden now. Hey, we won't meander any longer. Let's leave the lot. We'll see if there's any skill, uh, skill uh, buildings, skill lots. And I'll show you what that's all about. There you go. This is a good example of what's up with this game. You can, the more people are working at the same time, the higher, uh, the more money you earn, sort of as a group thing. Um, and also it depends on the type of lot. So this is a money lot. Uh, so if you're on a skill lot and you're learning skills, your skills will go up faster if there's more people there on a skill lot. And um, on a money lot, if you're, there's more people earning money at the same time, well, the same thing. Um, so it's pretty cool. As you can see, it's quite quiet even in here. That could be because of my time difference or whatever it's a lot of um flags here which is really cool i didn't know they see this is what i'm saying there's lots of new new items uh that you don't that you didn't have in the original sims game obviously we didn't have all these flags in the original sims oh there's a pool table here let's play some pool um do 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 <gasps> wow ice cream van like that's way better than mine and my house imagine if I had an ice cream van you can't click it though so at least you can click mine yeah they added like um they added like spells and stuff and you know and you could have roommates as well you know that actually lived at your house and then they would divide spaces for themselves uh, to live in and yeah, it was it was cool. It was a good game. Look at this. There's a um, remote control car. Let's do it. Remote control car. Remote control car. Yes. How cool is that? That's just beyond cool. It would be even cooler if I could control it. But then I suppose it would just crash everywhere. He's doing a good job. Oh, jukebox. Can't click it though. It's not my property. I'd love a jukebox at my house. That would have been nice. There's an old um, filing cabinet. Alright. 
Oh, oh, intruding, intruding on, on the bathroom with your <laughs> remote control car. Never a good idea. Look at it go. I didn't know it could go through doors. That's super cool. I don't know why this room looks suspicious to me. <laughs> There's loads of cool things, but I think these doors are actually locked. Yeah, they're locked. So to people's, uh, to roommates. And I'm not roommates, so I can't go in. But they look, you can see them, obviously. This was uh, serenading. They would sing to cheer the other sim up, get their social bars up. I actually even used um, a bit of the serenade singing in the back of a song once. I think it was called Adulting, by, and it was the, under the Artificial Colors band. You really can't hear it, but if you listen, if you listen, and you know what you're listening for, you can hear it. And that's because when we made that album, I was uh, playing this uh, quite often. I remember the trailer when the trailer came out for this game. I actually watch it every now and then because I'm weird like that. But the trailer was so exciting. And the game looks nothing like the trailer, you know. In the, I remember getting excited because the water was animated in the trailer. Like they jump in the pool. And it's a bit closer to what The Sims 2 ended up being like. But yeah, I still like that. I still like the game. Obviously, uh, it, I did spend some time on it and uh, I did have my little house and and that's it really. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for the uh, whoever the owners of the house are. Okay, they're roommates. Meowlady Pond. Meowlady Pond, that's a Doctor Who reference. And Claude Hayden. So thanks to you guys because I'm ending my video in your uh, pretty cool house. Alright, bye.